Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, and you? Good, good. Can't complain. Good, good. All right, so how was your weekend? Tell you how to get it. What was that again? Muchas gracias, eh? muchas gracias por estar aquí para. Y un saludo a tu hermana también. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Aide? I'm great, teacher. And you? Good. I'm doing okay, too. Thank you. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. Today is May, not May, June 15th. June 15, 2020. Time is going very fast. So, yeah. So that's, uh, my goodness, I hadn't seen this wall. My God. You know, I have two little ones. Um, the girl, she's six years old, and my boy is three years old. So whenever they get crayons in their hands, you know, they start writing on the walls and everything. That's okay, that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, what was the biggest event on the weekend here in El Salvador? The most Father's relevant. Day. What is it? Father's Day. Father, uh, this last weekend? Ah uh, no no. What what was the decision that they made about all this emergency thing? Reopening of the economy. Yep, they're opening the economy again. Right. The quarantine finished. Yeah, the quarantine finished. Yes. Uh, who's going back to work tomorrow from this group? Nobody's going back to work tomorrow, physically speaking. No, I am a case, I am a student. Okay, all right. So, yeah, some people see it as something negative. Other people see it as something positive. Um, you know, uh, people are hungry, so it's, it's, kind of difficult to do this quarantine here in El Salvador when we don't have the resources, but hopefully things will get better. So um, that's going to be your first activity. You guys are gonna be working in pairs. Um, you will discuss if the decision of finishing the quarantine is positive, is it negative, your opinion on what what you might think will happen to El Salvador, and um, that's it. Are the instructions clear of what you will have to do? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so let me assign you to work in pairs. Now remember, when I put you to work in pairs, it doesn't mean you can leave, because sometimes I visit Pairs, and I say, look, uh, Jaime left, Beatrice left. So you're supposed to be working with your partner. So here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs>
because uh, you said that our culture is very different and sometimes uh, we we don't we don't take care uh, 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 we don't take care um, uh, 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 about our uh, habit uh, habit of uh, healthy yes. because uh, sometimes uh, we make uh, all uh, incorrect so for example in some case uh, uh, all of the instruction of the uh, Ministerial of Salud I think it was yeah. like uh, too early to reopen the economy you think that it's early yeah it was too early because uh, for example uh, here in my neighborhood there are so many um, people that uh, before the, well they didn't uh, follow all the instru instructions that were like obligatory uh, yeah. before the uh, quarantine ended and now that they have like more freedom uh, maybe the case of COVID I don't know can be fired up because the economy is really difficult to uh, establish uh, um, I don't know punto equilibrio I don't know how do you say that <laughs> balance point <laughs> Balance, balance point. Yeah, it's very difficult. Okay, and you can do home office. Yes, you are doing. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. doing. Okay, excellent. You have to no, to work. No, I am not working. Oh, I am not working right now. Yes, I don't have this. Mm, situation in this moment mm -hmm. I I can continue in my home with my oh, family yes take care of your family yes yes <laughs> it's for you now I think it's um uh, I start to to work in it uh, presently it's August maybe I don't know it's difficult to to know how much time to, to need to to and it's very difficult sometimes uh, uh, because people don't know about how to make a, a good um, habit so and sometimes they they don't have uh, the idea correct um, yeah, we don't have a... Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. 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 Yeah, we're here. Hingler Incorporated. come back to the school mm, but uh, I think they won't come back uh, until the next year As schools and universities college they they will be closed uh, until 2021 okay Yes. Yeah, the school system, they have the option to, to have classes online. It's not the same, but it's one of the areas that they can manage somehow. You know? So I, I think it's going to be uh, the same way he's saying it right now, that 
for essential classes are going to be up to next year. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think that class online is good idea. Okay, it's a good idea. Or finish the the year. Escolar, and yeah, the school year, the school year. School year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's very unpredictable to to diagnose or tell, you know, what's going to happen exactly because we have so many um, factors going on that we just need to wait and see what happens. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll see. They live with her, my sister. Mm -hmm. Where they they live? Where? Yes. They were in Ciudad Ciudad Versailles, um, San Juan o Pico. Yes, yeah, San yeah. Juan o Pico. Oh, my that's parents. that's near my house. <laughs> really? Yeah. All yeah, my it's... parents live in Candelaria de la Frontera. Santana. Yes, yeah, Santana, near to the board, Guatemala. Okay. Okay. Do you visit them? No, yet. I I have uh, three months without visit my family. Okay. So before this emergency thing, um, did they come to San Salvador or, or you went to Santana? I went to Santana maybe one once a week or maybe one two two twelve two times on the month. Two times for the month. Uh, okay. All right. Okay, so let's return to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, any questions or comments about the quarantine being finished? Is it good? Is it bad? Do we need more time? What is your opinion? It's bad. You think it's bad, Walter? Yes. Why do you think it's bad? Because we don't have a culture for take care for with us because we don't care about the runs around about the uh, the, the people and maybe it's more maybe we can how do you say uh, podemos infectarnos? we can get infected we can get infected. Uh huh. All right. Anybody else wants to share your opinion about the quarantine being over? He says about the person is not respect the the they care their leaves. No, not nobody uses the mask. And, right. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went. I, I, I went to San Salvador today, and uh, when I passed downtown Lourdes, I saw several people with no mask. Like they think that the quarantine is over because the virus is not here anymore. You know, so it's it, it, it's 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 hard. It's difficult. It's oh difficult because all is changing. We have to take care about the virus. Oh, it's not over. No, no. 
you know, and, and they took the quarantine when I think when we needed when we needed the most, you know, because we're in a very crucial point where everybody should be staying home, but our culture is very different. Anybody else wants to say something? No? You know, we all have heard about a lot of people that is sick, infected because of this virus. And we watch TV and, and listen about that. But today, I uh, heard a new, a bad news about a friend of mine that he has been, he is positive right now with COVID and he is in shock. And you, you understand and I see this is not a joke. We have to take care of our families of, and, and this is, uh, it, this is serious. This is serious and please yeah. stay home if you can. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think about it every day. Yes, in another country it increased the contagious. Yeah. I finally got to visit the patients. And what did you think? Exactly. I learned so much. Did you know that they were uncovered by Napoleon? Before he visited the country, they were buried in sand. Really? Do they know? All right. Um, anybody else wants to say something else before we change activities? No. All right. So let's let's practice some pronunciation, some reading. Share screen. Let me see if I have it here. It's right here. Okay, do you see the image? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, but not completely. <laughs> okay. So we got three different cases about uh, people that are very special because they have a, a type of talent that is not common to see uh, every day. So they're considered to be uh, special people because of what they know. So what do you see in the pictures? What do you see in the first picture? This one here. Uh, violin girl with a violin. Okay. Uh, a girl playing the violin. What about the second uh, picture? A graduated child. Yes. A little alien. <laughs> okay. Graduation. And here we see a normal girl. So, uh, what do you think it's so special about the first case? I mean, just looking at the picture. He's posing across a pain he, 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 he did, she did. This one here, the first one. Okay, let's, okay. So let's, let's read what is special about her. I need a volunteer to read this part here so we can know about what's going on here. Me, teacher. Okay, please, thank you. Okay, other musicians have described Sarah Sarah Chang as the most wonderful, perfect violin they, they be ever heard. What make this phrase especially surprising is Sarah's age. 
She's only in her friends. 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 Okay. And people have been describing her his way signs. She was a child. Child. On Sarah's birthday, her father gave her a violin. B A five. By age five. She was accepted at the famous Trillard School of Music in New York, New York City. B A. She was, yeah, she was performing as a violin solist with major or orchestra. Okay. Science team, Sarah has performed our own uh -huh. record many albums. Good, very good, thank you. All right, do we have any questions about the uh, information she just read, meaning or pronunciation of words? No. No, just to remember our uh, classmate, as she should say, seems. Okay, seems. All right. Have you ever heard about a case like this, that someone is very young uh, and they're good by playing instruments? Have you? No? Yes, have you heard about any cases similar to this? where people are very young and they're very talented by playing instruments? <laughs> no, that's no. me. Performing? I have okay. Yeah, my, my, I, have a, <clears throat> I have a son, his name is Iker, and he plays violin too. <clears throat> and he has been taking classes for three years. But he asked me. He wanted. Uh, he wanted to buy him a um, a piano, a little piano, <clears throat> and he hears tones and changes it to play piano by his own. Yeah. How old is he? Again? How old is he? Fourteen. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Anybody else wants to say something about uh, the first reading? Uh, no? Okay, so I need someone else to read the second part. Michael Kearney. Somebody, anybody. Before Michael Kearney was born, the doctors warned his parents that he might have learning difficulties. He's been proving them wrong ever since. By the time he was four months old, Michael could say full sentences like, what's your mom? But by 10 months, could read word studying at home with his parents. Michael completed four grade levels each year. At TAM, he graduated from college with sorry, sorry, honors. With honors. And at 14, he received, he received. a master's degree. Master's degree. And I can see it. Now he is he's teaching. Now in his late teens? In, he, in his late teens, he's teaching and working on his PhD. Wow, he's Good. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here he should we have, be an alien. Yeah, I mean, like someone very young, extremely young, and moving really fast in life. 
it's very, very hard to believe that someone with only four months living in this world can say right. a, a sentence, a full yeah. sentence like. Yeah, yeah. yeah like uh, I have heard cases like the, in the Japanese culture that when a woman is pregnant, you know, they speak to the baby uh, so they sing to the baby. So when the baby is born, he's better prepared than many other nationalities. You know, they prepare the baby since they're in, their in, the, in the mother's belly. But this one here is a little bit uh, amazing. Yeah. Any questions or comments about the part that Himmler just read? No. Born. no. What is it? Born. 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 Yes. Born. What is it? When you came at the world. <laughs> yes, when you come to the world. Nacer. Okay. Any other questions, people? No? Okay, so I need one last volunteer to read paragraph number three. All right, go ahead, please. Me? Yes. Okay. When Alexandra Nechita was two, her parents gave her some crayons and coloring books. Alexandra was working in ink for colors, and by the time she was seven, oil paints. At eight, Alexandra had her first art exhibit. Now, a young adult, Alexandra is one of the most recognized artists in the world. Her paintings are often, are often compared to those of Picasso and other great artists. They have sold for as much as 80,000. Mm -hmm. She has been on TV many times and several books on her paintings have been published. Okay. Published. Amazing. Published. Published. Okay, All right, published. good, thank you. All right, any questions in the part uh, she just read? No? No. Okay. So, so here we have three examples of three different people that they have been outstanding because of the things they do, you know, and uh, good things, good things. All right, so if we don't have any questions or comments about this, we will change and we go here. Do you recognize this woman in the picture? Carbona. Huh? I'm not able Kid, to. Kid woman. Okay. Haley Berry. Haley yes. Berry. All right. Have you seen any of her movies? No. Okay. Yeah, but and sometimes yes, she was, have. sometime she was called the most beautiful girl in the world. I think she's, she, she's, she's all right, she, she's good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what's the name of the conversation? What's playing? What's playing? When do you make this question? Uh, when you wanna know what is playing on in theaters. Okay, right. Now we're talking about movies. So we have Roger and we have Carol. Um, so I need two volunteers to read. Roger? Me. All right, and Carol? Okay, I'm Carol. Very good. Let's do this. One, two, three, go. Do you want to see a movie tonight? Um, maybe, what's playing? How? 
heard about the new James Bond film. I heard it's really exciting. Actually, the last one was boring. Oh, what about the movie based on Stephen King's new novel? I don't know. His books are usually fascinated, but I don't like horror movies. Well, what do you want to see? I'm interested in the new Halle Berry movie. It's look good. That's fine with me. She is a wonderful actress. Good, very good. Thank you. Any questions there? Um, no. No, I don't have any questions. Okay. So here, um, we're talking about adjectives. What is the function of an adjective? Describe nouns. Okay, good. Can you identify uh, the adjectives uh, in this conversation? For example, exciting. Exciting, very good. Fascinating. Fascinating. Uh -huh. Boring. 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 Uh -huh. Boring. Wonderful. Wonderful, yes. Good. Huh? Interested. Interested. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Okay, good. Very good. So as you can see, adjectives in English, they have different terminations. And when I mean terminations, I'm talking about the last part of the word. So sometimes they finish in ed, sometimes they finish in ing. So let me ask you, what's the difference between tired and tiring? Or excited, exciting? Can someone explain that part? It's for describing a noun or describing an action. It depends. OK. Right, someone else? It'd be the time of the dance. Okay, okay, that's a very good uh, uh, observation. Um, when we use adjectives, you know, some of them they finish in ED, some of them they finish in ING, but there is no connection with the tense. So I can say, I am interested, that's simple present, or I can say, I was interested, simple past. I can say, when the book arrives, I will be interested to read it. That's future. So ED has no connection with the simple past. And when you say interesting, boring, it has no connection with the, with the present continuous. So adjectives are very different than verbs in this case. Uh, so there is no connection with the tense. So what would be another difference between the ED and the ING form? ED express a feeling. Okay. And ING describe an act. You know, okay. describe a... Okay. So she says ED describes a feeling. Okay. Anybody else wants to give your opinion? No? Okay. No. So you understand how to use interested against interesting. But sometimes we don't know how to explain it. Like you say, look, I know how to use it. I know when to use it. But I don't know, grammatically speaking, how to explain it. The difference is very simple. Okay, do you see the, the, the new image? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. All right, adjectives ending in ED and ING. Now look here, we're saying bored, is bored. And then on the right side, we're saying these books are boring. How do you say how do you say bored in Spanish? 
Aburrido. Ajá. En boring. Aburrido. Same. The same. So, uh, you say bored. I'm bored. Estoy aburrido. And then you say, el periódico está aburrido. So, uh, so like Kim was saying, when you use the ED in an adjective, it expresses feelings. Or reactions. Or reactions, right. ING provokes ED. So the books are boring. So when he starts reading, what's going to be the result? He's going to be bored. Do you see the difference? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. I need I need somebody to read the first part, please. Adjectives that end in ing. Me. Okay, please. Adjectives describe the characters of a person that in and in ing and uh, things or a uh, situation is causes say causes yeah causes causes and feeling the books are boring we are describing uh, we are describing a characters of the of these books what do these books cause they make people feel bored good very good thank you so as you can see here, it causes, how do you say mayúsculas in English? Capital letters. Capital letters. Capital letters. And they write it in capital letters to emphasize that the ING form is responsible for ED. So the books are boring. What's the result? The person that reads those books is going to feel bored. So ING is responsible for provoking ED. Let me give you another example. Imagine that uh, you live in San Salvador and you need to go to San Miguel every day, every day, every day. Going to San Miguel every day is tiring. So the experience of going every day to San Miguel is tiring. What's going to be the result? How are you going to feel? Tired. 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 With yes. ED at the end. With ED at the end. Now, can you use an antonym for boring? Uh, exciting. Exciting. These books are exciting. My favorite topic, uh, animals. So if the books are exciting, how will you feel when you read the books? Excited. 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 Exactly. So the books are excited. What's the result when you read the books? You're excited. So ING yeah. is responsible to provoke the ED forms. Right? Okay. So uh, you need to have that very clear. ING provokes ED. Okay. Going to San Miguel every day is tiring. So when you return to San Salvador, you're completely tired. The books are exciting. What's going to be the result? You're going to be excited. Okay. So I need another volunteer to read the second part. Adjectives that end in ED. Me. All right, please. Adjectives that end in ED. Describe a feeling or an emotion. It is how we feel about something. And okay. I continue reading. Yeah, yeah, please. He's bored. This is his feeling right now. This feeling was caused by the books. He's not going to be bored for eternity. He feels bored for now. It is temporary. Okay, good. So, uh, you know, it's, it's normal that in this quarantine, if you don't have a plan for like every day, there's going to be a part of the day when you feel bored. Why do you feel bored? Because the situation is boring. Maybe you don't have an agenda. Maybe you're not doing things different now. So the situation is boring. What's going to be the result? You will feel bored. But boring and bored 
the two are temporary. You stop doing whatever is causing you to be bored, and then uh, your 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 situation changes. Any questions with the part uh, with the second part that he just read? No. Okay, everybody else is, 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 are we on the same page? Yes, no, maybe. No. All right, so I need volunteer number three to read the last part of the image, please. Me. Okay, please. Sample sentences between brackets compare the different I'm tired right now. My flight was tiring because it was a 12 hour flight. Okay, Hot. right there, stop right there. So the 12 hour flight was tiring. So the passenger is tired. Go ahead, Mike. Public toilets are sometimes disgusting. I am disgusted by the smell of them. Okay, so you go to a public toilet, as you go in, you feel that smell. You say, man, this place is disgusting. So what is the result? You feel disgusted and you hold your yeah. breath while you're doing whatever you're doing when you leave the place quickly. Okay, and the last one. Yeah. Yeah, your speech was inspiring. I'm now inspired to do great things with my life. All right. So the speech was inspiring. Man, look at that woman. Look at that man, how he speaks, blah, 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 blah. What's the result? The audience is going to be inspired by the speech. How do you say inspiring in Spanish? Inspirado. You sure? Inspiring. Motivado. Uh, inspirador. Exactly. Oh, okay. And how do you say inspired? Ah, inspirado. Inspirado. So, inspirador and inspirado, it's, it's different in Spanish. So, yeah. the same way, the same way you, you know, that in Spanish, some of them are completely different from each other, English is the same. So, once again, ING describes a situation and ing That's is responsible to for provoking ed ed so, yeah so first is ing and then ing provokes ed okay yes it all right causes a f what is it it causes a feeling right Right. Now, remember, you can also use ING to describe how people are. Not how they feel, but how they are. So I can say, my brother is a boring person. He never speaks. He's always in his room playing video games, whatever. So I'm describing how he is. I can also say my brother, he reads a lot. He's a very uh, exciting person to speak with. So, oh. so ING describes situations, it describes things, but it also describes how people are. Okay. And then the result is ED, how people feel. So you say, my brother is very, um, you know, he's a very exciting person. He knows a lot and blah, blah. So when you speak with him, you feel excited. So I am excited to speak with my brother because he's very exciting. He has different okay. things to mention all the time. Okay, right. I got it. All right, uh, any questions or comments about this explanation? So no. are, are you going to send this image to the WhatsApp group? Sure, right now. Let me take a picture of it. Mm -hmm. Let's see this here. Mm -hmm. 
9 to 10 p.m. right here. Let's see if I can. And this is very important that you guys know how to use it. And if you want, coach, I can share the, the picture. Yeah, I please. Took, uh, screenshot. Yeah. yeah, please. Yeah. Because uh, the, 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 the screenshot you, you take is, is much better than the cell phone that I have now. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right. So after the explanation, we have the practice. Let's see if you can uh, Okay, do you see the page? Yep. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so according to this exercise, you know, one of you is going to be letter A and the other one is going to be letter uh, student B. But since we don't have much time, I will ask you again to work in pairs and answer each one of the 10 questions that we have here. So let me see. And there is the image again. So let me assign you. Break up rooms. Here we go. Can you hear me, Mike? I'm sorry. <laughs> it was my fault. My bad. Yeah. Number three. What makes you feel relaxed? Mm. Oh, well, sometimes I watch TV, uh, talk about women, my wife, or listen, and listen to music. And, there are certain things. Uh, it depends. Uh, uh, this days, uh, of my feeling. To me, maybe listen to gospels and do some exercise. Okay, in my case, um, listen to music or. Uh, in 
my case, I don't remember the last time that I felt embarrassed. First, the first uh, season, right now. <laughs> Okay. Let's see again the the the, the series. <laughs> uh -huh. I really need to watch the. Yes, I need to watch the. The last season. I only I only watch one and two. But uh, okay, uh, but this only this is responsible at seventy. Yeah. 70, no, 2070 of June, right? But the three se season is is now in Netflix or not? Oh, I am, no, I yet. don't use. Only, only two seasons. The second part, or no? I'm, I have, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> but I remember that I watched some on I read chapter mm -hmm. is is on on 27th of June. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. The reason because I watched uh, the the first season and now the second. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, next um, question. Okay. When was the last time you were in English? So oh. How to learn the rules? Uh, that is the part of difficult. You can speak, but the grammar. Sometimes you have some troubles when you write. Okay, I realize that <clears throat> I'm not satisfied with my last grammar test because I always forget something. But again, I realized that if I put too much attention. To grammar, I forget to speak. Right. <laughs> Caroline, Carolina. In my case, in my case, um, I don't satisfy with my last grammar test because um, um, I have not studied enough. Okay. okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Number number seven. About time you six. six. Talk six. about a time you. I've been at home three months ago. Since three months ago, and you, Josue. Um, when I was in. In class at the university, I feel tired after class because life in San Miguel is um, um, a bad experience because I live in Morazan and live in San Miguel is hot. Okay. And you must travel uh, a lot of our time in your. No, angle. in my case, I. Yeah, you have I was car. living with my, yeah, her. Okay, so no problem. Were you satisfied with the uh, test results of your grammar test? Either at uh, um, 10 p.m. Yeah. It's late. Late for you. And I, mm, most of the time I have, I need to go to the bed. <laughs> yeah, uh, so do I. I, I, I do feel t uh, tired after the, after the class because I work from Monday to Friday, so I, oh. I need to go to bed uh, early. Really? Ah, okay. Yes. I, I need to uh, wake up around five or five o'clock. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Now I never sleep early. Um, I go to bed at 12, maybe. <laughs> 12. Because, okay. because I just sleep up late in the morning. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing right now? Are you studying or are you working up your home or, or what are you doing? I working in my home, but uh, right now the stores are closed and it's not operation. It's the reason because uh, I have more time to rest. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. okay. Uh, All right, um, I know that uh, maybe you didn't have enough time to finish all the questions, but we will finish the second part tomorrow. Okay. Do you have any questions okay. before we are dismissed? Not yet. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Okay. You have a good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. All right.